Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the day has finally arrived for me to relax my hair. Whew. I've been waiting for like five, six days. So on the previous video, I did tell you that I was gonna wait for five, six, seven days. I think I cut my hair and put on color on Mon on Tuesday, and today is Saturday. So I feel like I've waited enough, and now today I'm going to relax. So a relaxer that I'm going to be using is this ORS and I'm using the no lie hair relaxer because my scalp is a little bit sensitive. So I'm using the no lie one and yeah, so let's see what we have inside the pack. And I picked this up from Clicks. I think it was about 105 or something but it was a little bit over 100 rand so i got this from clicks and you can also get it from discount first thing first is the little manual the guide we have the conditioner which looks like this and a shampoo oh wow and a setting mousse and i was actually looking for this set my clicks they didn't have it so i'll probably go to like the bigger one in the mall to look for a proper mousse that comes in a bottle but for today i'm gonna use this i thought i was even gonna style my hair because i don't have the most and another reason is because i ordered um those rap rapid strips and they haven't arrived i ordered them off of you buy so they're still on the way but i'll probably style it i will i will i will wrap it because now I have a mousse. I was going to wait to go to the mall maybe tomorrow. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start it. So this is the wrap mousse. And gloves and a little popsicle stick to mix. And a hair lotion. I think this is like a moisturizer. And we have the uh, cream. The relaxer cream. And activate. So first I'm going to put on the gloves. And then I'm going to mix the cream with the developer, the activator, not a developer, I'm used to that. So I'm mixing it together using the little uh, popsicle stick that came with the pack. So before I go ahead and start applying, I'm just taking a picker and I'm going to comb out my hair. And another step before applying the relaxer, I'm going to add some Vaseline around um, the edges. Even though some people think I don't have edges, I'm going to apply it on my forehead and around my ear and just um, on the edge around my neck so that I don't get bent. So I'm just gonna sectioning it, apply, section it, apply. And to apply, I'm going to use my application brush, applicator brush. And first I like to apply the relax just on the hair and not on the scalp. And then I will then mix everything in once I'm done applying.
So now I am done applying. All my hair is like covered. I hope everything is covered with red mixana. So now I'm just gonna go and rub it in. Just mix it. So now I feel like everything is saturated. I'm also changing my glove because this thing keeps on like sliding off. I actually just need one. And then I am taking my rectal comb and I'm going to comb my legs. Some people think it's a bad idea to comb your legs. I always do it. Even when I go to salons, they always comb out my legs. Like the last time I went actually. I, they used to come out my legs and didn't break, came out nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start coming out. So I'm just going to leave this on for about 5 minutes and then once I'm done I'm going to use this neutralizing shampoo first and this is the Rhythm So Easy neutralizing shampoo. I just got it from my local beauty supply store and um, I think it's locally made. It's actually made here in Johannesburg so I'm not sure if you will be able to find this anywhere online but I got it from Babies in Kempton Park. And it looks like this so I'm going to rinse about three times with this and then after I'm done with that I will use the shampoo that came with um, the pack that came with the relaxer which is this one and then once I'm done with that I will go ahead and condition with the same condition and then after condition I'll come back and show you guys the final results before applying the mousse and drying my hair so I just came back from the shower and this is how my hair is looking I'm done relaxing and I didn't even get bent like this relaxer is amazing. So this is the bag. So now I'm going to apply some leave-in conditioner and this is the Cantu Sheer Butter Leave-in Conditioner. I'm not going to apply a lot, I'm just applying a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Rod Set Mousse. I think this is going to be like a test for me to see if this mousse actually works really really well because I I actually have like two options that I want to try. Um, also, um, I was thinking of getting like the Design Essential one and then I also saw this one also from Clicks, but my Clicks didn't have it. So, We'll see if it works and if it works well. So I'm going to first start by laying down the sides. And I'm still going to cut my hair once I'm done drying it. 
like final shaping. I'm not really going for like a sharp haircut, but I'll still trim off some, especially the top. I just wanted it to be relaxed and straight so I can kind of like see the exact length that I'm going for. So this is how it looks at the back. So I've ordered the rabbit wrapping strips but they haven't arrived. So for now I'm just gonna use one of these stretchy fabrics just to wrap my hair. And I'm mostly going to wrap the back. So I want the back to lay like super flat. And now I'm going to go and dry my hair for about 40 minutes, 30, 35, 40 minutes. And to dry my hair, I use my normal hair dryer and this bonnet extension thingy that I got off, uh, off of AliExpress here. Yeah. So I am back with my hair dry. It's not really like 100% dry up here, but it's been like an hour now and I'm just starting to get a headache from the hair dry. But uh, it's mostly dry. This is the back. So yeah, it's mostly dry except for like this part here. But it's like 90, 95% dry. So before I go ahead and cut my hair, I'm going to apply some of this moisturizer thing that came with the... Uh, just applying a little bit, not a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start combing my hair. So I'm mostly going to trim off the top, but before I do that, I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to take some of this front hair right here. Oof. and like behind the ears so like I said I'm not really going for like a sharp cut I'm going to be like curling my hair most of the time so I don't really need like a barber sharp cut so. and the front is just a trim a little bit there Taking my scissors, I'm going to cut from the back going forward, like so. I still want the front to be a little bit longer. And I'm not going to like shape the bangs, I'm just combing it over to form like a part.
so this is my cut done I didn't really do much I mostly just cleaned um, behind the ears or down the side bends and also reducing the length and the volume up here so I just kind of like comb it and shape it with my hands and so this is how the bed looks this is the front so I'm definitely going to have more videos coming up on styling this hair like as you can see I haven't styled it I just finished the cut so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next one bye